Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will teach you how to perform normality tests using SPSS. So we will be measuring Kolmogorov Smirnov or KS and Shapiro Wilt uh, or, or SW. And both of these measurements will be reflected or presented by the SPSS. First, uh, let me just give you an overview about the differences between parametric and non-parametric tests. First, you will use parametric if the data or if the distribution is normal. Whereas non-parametric, you will use this if the distribution is non-normal. That's why it is really important for us to measure first the normality test to determine if we're going to use parametric statistical analysis or the non-parametric. Next is parametric is very sensitive to outliers. Whereas for the non-parametric, it is not sensitive. In performing the normality test, since both the KS or the Kolmogorov and shapiro wilk test will be shown, um, we have to check, or even if there's only one uh, variable or factor group that show or not statistically significant or it is not non-normal, then we have to use the non-parametric. So kahit isa lang. Let's say we are comparing two groups, male and female, and then based on the data using the male participants, it, uh, it shows that it is not uh, normal. So then we have to use the non-parametric. Then for the sample size, parametric requires large size for the sample size. For the non-parametric, small size, okay na siya para maging valid yung results natin. And last is parametric is powerful while non-parametric is less powerful. Meaning to say, uh, if you are a researcher, then you're using parametric tests. So there is a high probability that you're going to reject and accept, reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis, stating that there is significant relationship, significant difference uh, among your, your variables. So these are the different or the basic statistical analysis for both parametric and non-parametric. If your goal is to compare two factor groups, then you have to use t-test for independent samples. Then if the, if the data is normal based on the uh, normality test, but if none, then you have to use the non-parametric equivalence in testing if there's significant difference between two factor groups. Then you have to use Mann-Whitney test, Wilcoxon test. Then if you're asking about significant difference uh, between or among two or more groups, then you have to use ANOVA. Although ANOVA can also be used if you only have two factor groups. However, T-test is more uh, powerful compared with ANOVA in comparing two factor groups. If the data is non-normal, then you have to use the non-parametric. We have the Kruskal-Wallis test, Median test, John Kirtorpstrat test for the um, non-parametric equivalence if the data is non-normal. Then if your goal is to measure relationship between your variables, if the data is normal, then you have to use person R. Then if non-normal, use the Spearman's row, which is the non-parametric equivalence of person R. So each of these statistical analysis will have, uh, will show you or will have separate video tutorial. So I will teach you how to perform all of these statistical analysis. So isa -isa lang muna natin. So for today's video, we will focus on the normality test. So suppose that we have, the, we have two questions in our research paper. First is, is there significant difference in the level of social entrepreneurial intention between male and female university students? Since you only have two factor groups and you're asking about the significant difference, we will make use of t-tests for independent samples if the data is normal. But, but if not, then we have to use the Wilcoxon or Man whitney U. Then another is... Is there significant difference in the level of social entrepreneurial intention among different year levels of university students? So let's say you will be, uh, you will use four levels. We have first year, second year, third year, fourth year. So you have four factor groups. Then the appropriate statistical analysis for that is ANOVA. Since ang ANOVA ginagamit, if you have two 
or more than two factor groups. Pero sabi ko nga, pwede pa rin ng ANOVA even if you only have two groups. However, t-test is more powerful than ANOVA if you're just comparing two groups. So meaning, for every research question that will address or that will use inferential statistics, we have to perform first normality test para malaman kung gagamit ba tayo ng parametric or non-parametric. Then these are the thresholds to determine if we're going to use parametric or non-parametric. If the p-values are greater than 0 0.05, then we have to use parametric equivalent, uh, equivalence or the parametric test. Then if the p-values are less than 0 0.05, then we have to use non-parametric. And to determine if we're going to use the Kolmogorov or the Shapiro wheel, if the sample size is between 3 to 2,000, then we have to use the Shapiro will, will test. Then if the sample size is greater than 2,000, then we have to use Kolmogorov smear node. Okay, let's perform that. I, by the way, para at least madaling mind ma matandaan, I already have here the steps kung ano yung mga commands na gagawin sa SPSS. First is click analyze. Then go to descriptive statistics, then explore. Then move the variable, the SEI or the social entrepreneurial intention to dependent list box. Then move sex. Unay muna natin yung sex and then after that, uh, we will use the year level. Two-factor list box. Then click plots, push button, and check normality plots with test. And then again, this is the threshold. If the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, it means we have to use parametric tests. Then if less than 0 0.05, we will use non-parametric tests. Okay, so let's go to our SPSS. Already opened the file that we will use in performing normality tests. So kailangan muna natin konting ayusin na itong file natin. First, we have to put label in our Diba, we will use the sex and year level. So kindly type here sex and then click values, yung three dots. We have to put labels in our um, demographic characteristics. So value one, um, it is male. Two, female. And then just click OK. For the year level, so type year level, click values, one is for first year, then two for second year. Siguro lagyan natin ng, sige, change natin to ng first year. First then two, second, three, third, four, fourth year. Then add. Then another process that we have to perform is we have to get the overall mean of our construct or variable. Yeah, so andito na male, female, first year, second year. So to do that, click transform, then compute variable. So para siyang calculator, no? Then we can just uh, type overall SEI. Then punta kayo sa function group, click all, look for the mean. Alphabetically arranged naman to. Where is the mean? Okay. Then click this arrow. Arrow up. Ayan. So may question mark. Then we have to indicate what are the items that uh, will be, that will measure the mean or yung kokompetent para makuha yung mean natin. First is the SEI1. So this is the first item of our variable. Click this arrow. Then you shortcut SEI1 to last item. 
I already made a video lecture for descriptive statistics. Kaya medyo mabilis na tayong mag-process dito. And then, yung last item, click this arrow. Then, just click OK. So, we, we already have the overall mean for our variable, yung O, S, E, I. Then, we can now perform normality test. First is, go to analyze. Descriptive statistics, explore, and then put SEI, yung ginawa natin, yung overall mean, yung nasa dulo, click this arrow, put the SEI independent list. Then for factor list, since we are comparing sex, diba, there's a significant difference between male and female when it comes to their um, SEI or social entrepreneurial intention. So, yung sa sex. Click this arrow para mapunta sa factor list. And then, after nyan, click plots. Then, click normality. Ito lang, kiklik nyo lang normality plots with tests. Okay, continue, then okay. So, hintayin lang natin na ma-process. So, meron dito yung case processing summary. So, ito yung descriptives ng sa male and female natin. Majority ay babae. Then, ito pa yung mga other descriptives niya. Ang kailangan lang natin dito, itong case processing summary and then yung test of normality. As I've said, it will show both the Kolmogorov, Smirnov, and Shapiro will. Ngayon, magdadeside tayo kung anong gagamitin natin. Di ba, remember, for the Shapiro will, three, between three, 2, 2,000 for the respondents. Whereas for the Kolmogorov, 2,000 and up. So let's see how many participants do we have. So meron tayo na 300 something lang yan. Kasi walang total dun eh. So meron tayong 343. So we will use Shapiro. So ang titignan natin dun sa test of normality ay ito. Itong sa Shapiro. And then, ang tingnan nyo lang ay yung sa C. It means ito yung sa p-value niya. So, meron siyang for the mean, we have 0.035. For female, meron siyang 0.082. Sige, copy-paste natin to, Then, discuss natin yan dito sa PowerPoint. So, ito yung kanina na nakuha na value using SPSS. So, again, we will use parametric if the p-value is greater than 0.05. And non-parametric if the p-value is less than 0.05. So, tingnan natin yung p-value ng male and female. For male participants or male respondents, under the Shapiro will test, ito, ang p-value is uh, 0 0.035. It means it is less than 0.05. So, we have to use non-parametric. Then, for the female, it obtained a p-value of 0 0.082. So meaning it is greater than 0 0.05. Then we will use parametric. However, as I've said, parametric is very sensitive to outliers. So talagang kailangan ay normal ang distribution natin. So based on Shapiro will test, merong yung sa male ay non-parametric. Whereas for the female, parametric. So our decision is we will use non-parametric. Kasi kahit na isang factor group lang na nag-reflect na non-parametric ang gagamitin, then the rest ay ma, kumbaga, hindi na siya makoconsider. So ang gagamitin na ay yung non-parametric. So in short, for the research question number one, is there significant difference in the level of social entrepreneurial intention between male and female university students? We will use non-parametric equivalent test, which, uh, which uh, we will use uh, Mann-Whitney and Wilcoxon test and not the T-test for independent. Let's try now the ANOVA for parametric and non-parametric Puskal-Wallis median test down here to Terpstra. Uh, so we have to perform again normality test. Okay, so punta tayo sa SPSS ulit. Then same process, 
As I've said dun sa first video ko, since same process lang naman din siya, we can just click this recall button. So explore, then we have to change sex kasi yung gagamitin natin ay year level. So click this arrow, parang bumalik siya dito. And then click year level. Then click plots. Automatic na ka, click na yung normality test. Then click OK. So first year, second year, fourth year, setting so demographics nila, yung descriptives. So marami ang second year. Then as I've said, we will only use this case processing summary as well as the tests of normality. Then a paste natin dito sa PowerPoint. Okay. For a while. So, discuss natin. So, sabi, di ba, for the, for the parametric, the p-values must be greater than 0 0.05. Then, non-parametric, less than. So, isa-isayin natin. For first year, we have the value of 0 0.043, which is less than the p-value or, or less than 0 0.05. So we will use non-parametric. Then for a second year, we have the value of 0.545. So it is greater than 0 0.05. So we will use parametric. Then third year, we have the value of point oh wait. Okay, so we have uh, the value of 0 0.080, which is greater than 0 0.05 sa threshold natin. Then we will use again parametric based dito sa Shapiro. Again, Shapiro ang gagamitin natin kasi uh, less than 2,000 naman tayo yung participants natin. Then for four or the fourth year, uh, 0.138 or 0.138. So again, greater than... Uh, 0 0.05, so we will use parametric. However, for the final decision, since yung first year level natin, sinasabi ay non-parametric siya. So in short, we will use the non-parametric. Kasi nga, sabi ko nga, dapat for parametric, dapat ang data or distribution is normal. Since ang parametric is very sensitive to outliers. In short, for research question number two, is there significant difference in the level of social entrepreneurial intention among different year levels of university students, we will use the non-parametric test. So we will use Kruskal-Wallis, Median test, and John Keir Terpstra tests. So again, we will have separate video tutorial on how to, how to perform the, this uh, statistical analysis. Okay, so for the meantime, that will be the end of our presentation and demonstration. So I hope you're able to learn how to perform normality tests using SPSS. Thank you. Then um, just click or subscribe to my YouTube channel to update to different um, video tutorials about the use of different statistical softwares. Okay, thank you. Bye.